Jesus leaves a commonplace, commonplace among the Jews. He goes to the other side where foreigners are. He goes to the other side where foreigners are. And when he goes to the other side where foreigners are, guess who comes? A multitude. Where did he get this multitude from? They came from the other side. So, Jesus' ability to do miracles attract people. Amen. Power attracts. Amen. Power attracts. Amen. Power attracts. Whenever power is on display, it makes our people interested. Right. This multitude ain't coming over just because. They don't even like these people on the other side. But they are coming over, Brother Black, because they saw Jesus doing miracles, right? They saw him work wonders, heal people, and uh, cure folks' diseases. So they come over to the other side. When they come over to the other side, Jesus is there. He was already on the mountain. He was talking with his disciples. He's training them. He's teaching them, right? Lo and behold, here comes a crowd. They call it a what? Multitude. We're talking about thousands of folk. Yeah. And take the way the Bible count, the way Hebrews count, and the way the Bible count is not to count women and children. Amen. So when you see a number like 5,000 and 4,000 brother cousin, he's really just talking about men. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if, if you got 5,000 men, let's give every man a wife, let's give every uh, family two children. How many folk we got there? We got about 15, close to 20,000 folk. And we have to be responsible for the students. A master is responsible for the students. So if 15,000 folk just show up at your doorstep, you're obligated to take care of those folk. Now watch how Jesus put pressure on one of his leaders. How many leaders does he have? Twelve. He has twelve leaders, twelve men that he has been schooling, twelve men that he has been tutoring, twelve men that he has been mentoring, right? He put pressure on one of the men. The man that he put pressure on is who? Philip. It is Philip, one of the twelve. One of the twelve is Philip. He put pressure on Philip. He says, Philip, look, the multitude is coming. Here come 15, 20,000 people. He says, Philip, how are we going to what? Feed. And he asked him specifically, whence can we buy bread that all of these may what? Eat. Because Philip, we got to feed these folk. He put pressure on one of his leaders, right? So a leader is supposed to have what? Solutions. <laughs> Amen. A leader is supposed to have solutions. You cannot be a leader if you don't have. Amen. An effective leader is one that has what? Solutions. You can't be a leader and create problems. You can't be a leader and just highlight problems. If you are a leader, you put in position to what? Solve problems. To lead folks. Amen, somebody. A leader is not a leader if he can only tell you, look at that problem. Look at that problem. Look at that issue. Look at that. Amen. That's what's wrong. That's what's wrong. Real leader come with what? Solution. Solution. Amen. You want to be around folk that can come up with some what? You don't want to be around people that's going to tell you what the problem already is. Chances are you already what? And you certainly don't want to be around folk that make messes that create problems instead of what? Because you really don't need them if they're going to cause a problem. Because some folk cause more problem than they what? <laughs> Lord have mercy. We get deep tonight. You don't need to be around folks, and folks certainly don't need to be in a position if they're not going to solve a the problem. They're going to create more problems than they solve. That's not a what? Get in position. Get ready for something. Get ready for something. Get ready for something. Get ready for something. Right? <laughs> sit down. See, you ain't going to go sit down unless you believe a meal coming. <laughs> Get ready now, because this is in preparation for a meal. We we finna eat lunch time, lunch time, lunch time. What we eat? Some little boy got two fish, five bottles. Of it's fifteen thousand of us out here. Lord say, sit down. Get ready to eat. Put your beer on. <laughs> See, some go, uh uh. Eat. How we going Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Now when you sit down, it means that I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> sit down, how many of y'all? 25. 
What you serving? They got two fish and five dollars on. Come on with me. Two hundred thousand. You ain't gonna sit down unless you what? Believe. Why these people there in the first place? Because they saw the Lord do something. That's why they there. That man can do it. If you say sit down, get ready to eat. You take that and give it up. Yeah. You got to have a system. Yeah. 